Well, the news is official. I don't think it could be any more sad. Guys, we knew this was coming. I talked about it last week. The fight between Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler is officially off. And yeah, this sucks. There's a whole lot of details. What is going to replace the card? We actually found out Alex Pereira is stepping in on short notice to fight Yuri Prohaska, as well as a cool co-main event. And we also have a few dates of when this fight might be rebooked. I'm going to get into that later. And guys, before we get into news, I want to remind you guys to the subscribe button, like, comment, and share, because we're almost at 13k. You guys have been killing it with the support. So please just hit the subscribe button help support me and the channel because i have been waiting all night for this news and it is finally here yeah michael chandler conor mcgregor is canceled but if you guys have been living under a rock you guys will notice that this all started back a couple two weeks ago right after ufc 301 where there was supposed to be a press conference in dublin ireland between michael chandler and conor mcgregor it got canceled last minute and nobody knew why and then immediately speculation begun and we got reports from ariel hawani saying conor mcgregor was injured and then we got a report seeing some good news saying that oh conor mcgregor might be able to fight june 29th so then we all calmed down However, early this week, we saw Ariel Hawani once again give another update saying, yeah, the fight is most likely not going to happen. And from there, the internet has gone crazy waiting for the UFC to say something. And instead, we got news that Hamza Chemaev was out of the fight with Robert Whitaker, which is even more terrible news. I was super excited for that fight. I literally was thinking, literally, like, I can't wait for this fight next week, and it literally gets canceled. But it happens sometimes, I guess. So, yeah, I'm just gonna cry about it a little bit. Look, point is, is that Dana White did confirm this and say that Conor McGregor is out with an injury. Now, what injury? We don't know. I had speculated it was a cut. However, I don't think it is that anymore because Conor McGregor has posted a picture of himself recently. And obviously there is no cut to be seen because I am thinking it has to be something that's relatively, you know, a fast recovery that has to be bad enough to pull out of a fight. And that, believe it or not, is a very small group of things, right? There isn't a lot of things like cuts you could throw in there. That's something that would cancel a fight, but isn't necessarily such a long recovery process. So we don't know what the injury is. And I don't know if we will ever know. I'm hoping at some point we will know because I think this is a big burning question. I'm sure it'll come out at some point. But let's talk about the new main event Yuri Prohaska steps in to fight Alex Pereira for the UFC light heavyweight title and this was the fight I had talked about last week when we first heard the bad news before it was all of a sudden good news I had predicted to you guys multiple times I said I think this is going to be the new main event and it is the new main event and I'm not surprised we heard Yuri talk about this in the past Yuri saying he would be down to fight June 29th we've also heard Alex Pereira in the past talk about how he'll have quick turnarounds we saw he wanted to turn around at UFC 301 so this is a big rematch I think the last fight was very close I think that that was the worst we've ever seen Alex Alex Pereira outside of his debut probably and it was because Yuri was giving him a lot of problems with his feints with his movements because of how awkward Yuri can be so I am curious about this fight I don't think this is an easy fight for Alex Pereira to take on short notice at all but this is an easy fight for Yuri either Yuri obviously got knocked out from Alex Pereira he is probably going to be a lot more hesitant and I think that's something that might hurt Yuri the more hesitant Yuri is I think the worst he is going to do obviously you have to be careful because Alex Pereira hits very hard but I think the feints and the constant movement was what confused Alex Pereira the last time they fought so I think he's got to do a little bit more of that. I think there's a lot of positives for Yuri Prohaska to take away from their first fight. However, this fight happening on two weeks notice is actually insane, right? And that is a good main event, of course. Like, this would be a totally fine main event if this was announced a couple months ago. Nobody would probably complain. And credit to both Alex and Yuri, especially Alex, who has a lot to lose in this situation. He has a belt on the line, and I do hope that if he loses to Yuri, they do a trilogy or something right away just to reward Alex. Because first of all, this guy stepped in for UFC 300 on relatively short notice, and is now stepping in to save International Fight Week. I mean, Alex Pereira has done so many amazing things in his UFC career despite not being in the UFC very long like it's crazy and I don't even think he gets the respect he deserves honestly but UFC added another co-main event and this co-main event is super exciting I like this fight is Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez Diego Lopez coming off of that UFC 300 win while Brian Ortega is coming off of that win against Yaya Rodriguez this is a tough fight for Brian Ortega right and there is a lot of unknowns about Diego Lopez he has looked very good he's looked incredible up until this point really the only trouble he's had thus far was against Mozart or Evil Lava on short notice and even then Mosvar is undefeated now Mosvar almost loose Diego Lopez multiple times in that fight due to submission so, so Diego Lopez has the ground game to hang out with Brian Ortega and everything Diego Lopez has done up until this point has been amazing all of his performances have been you know just mind-blowing so I'm hoping for another mind-blowing performance from him because I am a fan of him however I do like Brian Ortega as well so I do hope that you know maybe both guys don't get hurt too bad but Brian Ortega is also very dangerous with his ground game and I'm sure he's gonna be very confident in his jiu-jitsu so I'm curious to see how that fight is going to play out and we're gonna talk about that when we get closer to the fight and guys don't worry i'm going to be talking about those conor mcgregor return dates very soon guys don't worry just stick with me though i'd have to talk about the whole hamza chamayev situation real quick hamza chamayev and robert whitaker were set to fight next week and obviously we just found out hamza chamayev is out of that fight which is just completely embarrassing for hamza this guy never fights anymore i mean the privilege this guy has i mean what has he done to deserve a number one contenders fight like can we get him like a top five guy like why not give him a paulo costa at this rate right i think that's the move but i'm getting off track my point is i would not be surprised if the ufc does not rely on hamza anymore 
anymore because yeah this is really bad for their first Saudi Arabia card for this to happen and let's be honest the replacement isn't as amazing as the Alex Pereira near Brasco one right because the replacement is Ikra Maliskarov which yeah is pretty bad replacement I don't think that anybody is excited for this fight I think Whitaker will probably win this fight but Aliskarov is pretty good as well and before we get into the new McGregor dates like I said I also forgot by the way that Jamal Hill is also out of this card right one would assume it's severe dehydration from the tears he has been crying the past few weeks but believe it or not it is a knee injury according to Dana White which this is not surprising I talked about it when they announced Kalel Roundtree versus Jamal Hill I said look this is a very fast turnaround going back to back training camps it's very dangerous that is where we're going to see the most pull out so I'm not surprised to see this it does suck for Jamal Hill though if you're going to be unbiased because like at the end of the day he did suffer a very bad knockout loss to Alex Pereira and this was kind of his way to redeem himself to kind of you know knock out a new guy an up and coming contender and to get back with a win and make people kind of forget about that loss however it's hard for people to forget when this guy is still clowning around on social media crying about the loss my point is is that Carlos Olberg is now staying in the car which also I gotta feel bad for that guy because he stepped in on short notice against Jamal Hill and that was a big opportunity for him if he beats Jamal Hill let's just say amazingly dominates him who knows what's next for him maybe even a title shot right I know that sounds crazy but that could have been next but he's gonna be fighting Anthony Smith and I mean that's all right I don't think anybody's really you know excited for that fight per se but let's talk about Conor McGregor right yes Conor McGregor is out of the fight like I said all right now this sucks I'm disappointed let's talk about a few things first of all yes he's out of the fight will he ever fight again I think so guys I think if you guys are trying to say to yourselves that you know Conor McGregor is making some sort of excuse to get out of this fight I think that's just ridiculous he is injured I a thousand percent believe he's injured I don't think he just you know signed up for this fight did the whole ultimate fighter thing just to you know just back out but Conor if you look at his track history this is a guy that you know could have just retired off that Mayweather fight but came back to fight Khabib the you know the toughest challenge he could I'm not going to necessarily defend Conor's skills but if you guys are going to start talking about his attitude guys I think you guys got to start looking back he's never pulled out of a fight and I think we got to be a little bit more nicer to Conor that's all I'm trying to say I think he's going to fight Michael Chandler and the dates being discussed per Ariel Hawani are apparently between August 31st and June 28th now this is good because if you guys recall in my last video I had talked about the possibility of this fight even happening in December because I just did the math of what pay-per-views were available however it looks like they are adding a pay-per-view which makes sense I mean obviously Conor McGregor is just that type of star that yeah they're going to add another pay-per-view for my question though is where do you guys think they're gonna have this fight I honestly have no clue can they maybe move someone from the sphere and have Conor McGregor fight there in the sphere I don't know guys these are just theories maybe they have it in Dublin Ireland I know that would probably be insane and I doubt that is going to happen I was hoping that they would announce a date as soon as they announced Conor was out I thought that would have been the best way to do things however obviously I'm sure it's very hard to get all that stuff together so I'm hoping we'll get a date very very soon because at this point I think even when Conor fights people are going to ask oh is Conor really fighting is Conor really fighting I think Conor's fighting I think it's going to be between August 31st or June 28th or maybe in that sphere card let me know in the comment section below what fight card you guys think he's going to fight at and what fight are you most looking forward to out of all these new fights that were announced guys I'm as bummed as I'm sure a lot of you guys are but thank you guys for watching make sure to check out my last video where I talked about Jamal Hill and some of the crazy things he's been posting on social media about that Alex Pereira loss let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this video thank you guys for watching hit the subscribe button like comment and share hit the notification bell and join the discord server and i'll see you guys in the next one